construction sites operating during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic need to ensure that they are protecting their workforce and minimising the risk of spread of infection. This guidance is intended to introduce consistent measures on sites of all sizes in line with the government's recommendation on social distancing. These are exceptional circumstances and the industry must comply with the latest government advice on coronavirus at all times. If a site is not able to implement these measures, it will be required to shut down. Anyone who meets one of the following criteria should not come to site. If you have a high temperature or persistent new cough, if you are a vulnerable person by virtue of your age, underlying health condition, clinical condition or if you are pregnant, if you are a person living with someone who is in self-isolation or is a vulnerable person. Wherever possible, workers should travel to site alone using their own transport, so sites will need to consider parking arrangements for additional cars and bicycles. Try to avoid using public transport at this time. You should wash your hands before or as soon as you have entered the site. Signing in should be carried out with one person entering the room at any one time. The room should be well ventilated with doors and windows left open. It is advisable to use your own pen. If this is not possible, the pen should be cleaned before and after use. The same procedure must be followed when signing other documents such as permits to work. We advise wearing disposable gloves and remember, always keep to the two metre social distance rule. Site inductions should be held outdoors whilst ensuring the information can be clearly heard and understood. The same procedure should be carried out whilst delivering toolbox talks or giving other information on a day-to-day -day basis. Drivers should remain in their vehicles if the load will allow it and must wash or clean their hands before unloading any goods or materials. Welfare facilities must be cleaned at regular intervals. It is important that you also clean these areas as well as washing your hands before and after use. This will help avoid any contamination. The COVID-19 virus can stay on materials like metal for several hours. Therefore, it is advisable to clean all handles before and after use using antibacterial wipes. Storage facilities must only have one person entering at any one time and it is advisable that one person is designated to enter that area. Access points such as ladders and handrails should also be cleaned at regular intervals. Objects as shown here, the operating handle to the hoist, should be cleaned before and after use. It is also advisable that one person is designated to operate this. When removing disposable gloves, they should be removed by rolling them inside out. They should then be disposed of immediately or bagged and disposed of at the first available opportunity. Your hands should be cleaned using soap and water or hand sanitizer. Whilst carrying out your tasks, it is important to use your own tools. These should be cleaned before and after use. Whilst working, it is important to keep to the two metre social distance rule at all times. Work must be planned to ensure that this is carried out efficiently and effectively. If there is a situation where this is not possible, you must stop work immediately and report this to your line manager or supervisor. If a worker develops a high temperature or a persistent cough whilst at work, they should return home immediately, avoid touching anything, cough or sneeze into a tissue and place that immediately into a bin. Break times should be staggered to avoid congestion and contact at all times. However, it is advisable to use your vehicle as your own clean, safe area. Bringing your own lunch will avoid using local shops. 
To maintain a clean, safe area, wipe down the surfaces where your hands may have been and remember to wash your hands with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Smoking areas may need to be marshalled to avoid overcrowding, breaking the two meter social distance rule. When signing out at the end of your working day, you must use the same procedure that you use to sign in. Wash your hands before leaving the site and remember to take your disposable gloves and hand sanitizer with you. Reusable personal protective equipment should be thoroughly cleaned after use and not shared between workers. Single use personal protective equipment should be disposed of immediately. When returning home it is advisable to immediately shower including washing your hair as well as the clothes that you have worn that day. To help ensure it is safe for you to operate in your workplace the industry has worked to develop site operating procedures. These were published by the Construction Leadership Council.